This is Anderson Penn's podcast episode 28 for Sunday, December 2nd, 2012. This is Brian. This is Lisa. This is the Anderson Penn's Radio Network. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> there, how was that? That was great. All right. I didn't know if you wanted to say it that time or not. I know. I know. Okay. Um, I thought maybe I would laugh a little less if I said it, but not really. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's up? Um, so, <laughs> so uh, we had a busy pen filled weekend here. We did, man. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's still going. Uh, the pennant arrived, Woo! Uh, which is kind of cool. For those that are watching, there it is. I know you're jealous. Uh, rank has its privileges. The uh, president and the board of directors get advanced copies. Ours are FedExed, which is actually kind of a funny story in itself. Um, we were waiting for a FedEx package yesterday. That's pretty. Uh, and um, <laughs> the FedEx guy drove up, and we were, I think we were still eating breakfast or something, and um, or having coffee and talking about what we were going to do that day. And the truck pulls up, and we literally raced to the front door ready to, you know, grab this box and, and ship some stuff. And, and we were all excited. And the FedEx guy's holding an envelope. Like, what the heck is this? And then it occurred to me that it was the pennant. So that was pretty exciting. But then we stopped the guy and we're like, wait, <laughs> it's Saturday delivery. Where's our box? He said he didn't have it. So he said that the, the home delivery guy would bring it in a while, sometime today. Our block is how long? And it's not, just a standard block. It's not very long. Yeah, it's just not For the very second long. house from the end, the FedEx truck stopped at the stop sign, one house down, home delivery truck pulled up. Right? And he hadn't even closed the door. Yeah. Wasn't even 30 seconds later. And our box came. Uh, so we, we actually didn't really get to look at much of the pennant. I kind of flipped through it. We checked out the, um, the Little Rock Pen Show um, ad. Oh. So that's exciting. It's one of our favorite shows. Uh, it looks like there's an interesting article on a rarity versus desirability. Um, some slim pens, a couple other articles. So, Cursor um, writing. That's cool. Uh, as soon as we get some time, we're going to cuddle up to the pennant and uh, dig through it. So looks like a good one. Cuddle up to the pennant? Well, you know. I thought you cuddle with me. Well, yeah. But All right. Anyway. All right. Um, anything else arrive that we need to talk about? Um, or not until later. Not until later. Okay. All right. Go. Like maybe Christmas. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, we had a request uh, this past week. Uh, thank you, Duncan, um, to do some more deep dive content. So uh, this week we're going to continue our Esterbrook 101 discussion, and uh, we'll talk about some Esterbrook V clips. Now, Esterbrook uh, started out in 1858 and uh, primarily dip pen manufacture. Well, that's pretty much what they were doing back then. Uh, they didn't actually begin manufacturing their own pens until 1932. Prior to this point, uh, pens were made for Esterbrook by a number of manufacturers, uh, including Ake Lambert, Wirt, De La Rue, and around the same time, Conway Stewart. Which is kind of cool. Yes, yeah. It's bit, so big, big name manufacturers making pens for Astrobrook. So, lest you think they were a small company. Um, they had connections. They had connections. <laughs> they had peeps. Um, so, in, in 1932, they came up with their their own design. Um, completely different than, than anybody else had come up with at the time. It had a very distinctive clip. Um, we now call this the V-clip. There's an example there. Because the large cutout here resembles, of course, a, a, a large V. Uh, the clip tapers in towards the top of the cap. So it's pretty narrow at that point. And um, on the top, there's a, a metal jewel type uh, application that holds the, the clip in. And uh, it's stamped Esterbrook. Now, these pens are, are typically found in uh, essentially five main variants. Uh, there is a, uh, a pretty scarce black hard rubber, which is this guy right here. Um, the most common, of course, is uh, the black plastic. 
But then they also come in three different, um, much, much prettier the plastics. Pretty ones. Yeah, this is Morocco red, or as we would call these dollar fifty colors, because these pens actually did sell for a dollar um, at the time. Um, there's a green, nice marbled green here. That's a pretty one. It's pretty. And uh, this one, which is not cataloged in any way, shape, or form uh, in either the V-clip or the, the standard pens that followed it, uh, it's a gray marble, a pearl gray with uh, red flex. Now, Waterman used a similar, uh, similar uh, celluloid in some of their uh, 32 um, and 3V pens. I think I had a couple of those. Uh, I think we actually might even have a Waterman in that plastic, too. Um, but so they're like cousins. They're cousins, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, the pens are primarily found in the largest size, the full-size model, which is this guy right here. See, it's a pretty decent size. But you can occasionally find them in a slender, which is what this is. It's really kind of hard to see the comparison. Do we have a red one, too? Uh, a slender red? No, no. Slender is very quite hard to find. If as if V clips aren't hard to find enough as it, it, hard enough to find as it is, uh, the slenders are very very difficult to find. Um, and I have on one occasion seen a demi size V clip. Did that come home with us? No, uh, I saw it probably twelve years ago. I did not buy it. Um, but I, and I've never seen another one since. Uh, so I, I never actually was able to see it in person. It looked like it was a Temi, uh, based on, it, it was in a picture with a number of other pens. Uh, so it looked like it would have been a Demi size, uh, but never saw it in person. I've never seen another one since. So I would make an assumption they would have made it, but this is their first, first time making, um, pens. So who's to say? Um, the downfall of this, this pen is of course, is this clip because it narrows in towards the top and it's a very, uh, very small, thin piece of metal that attaches to the top of the clip in a very narrow, narrow profile. I mean, it, it barely, barely goes off, off the top of the cap. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's very little room there. Uh, and what would happen is, is uh, people would put them in their shirt pockets, or they would they'd play with them, and the the, the clip would just snap right off. Oops. Um, so <laughs> discount. Uh, yeah, discount. Uh, and so Esterbrook uh, worked to rectify this, and uh, they moved on to the shorter clip that eventually became their their two hole clip design. On this guy here, if you compare the two, it was much sturdier. If you can see the difference yeah, there. Yeah, it's definitely shorter. It's definitely shorter. It's a little beefier. Um, the first versions of the two-hole clip did go in towards the, the top, but um, uh, the design is a lot better. It's a little further away from the body so uh, of the cap, so it uh, it doesn't have that same problem that it, it snaps off quite as easily. So um, so they, essentially they're around for, for about two years, um, and they all use the same screw-in style renew points as can be found on every pen up until 1971 essentially um, and uh, an interesting thing is when I was pulling these pens uh, for the podcast today I opened uh, this uh, gray marbled pen and uh, I can't really see but um, this one has uh, occasionally they can be found with a very scarce uh, variant uh, essentially it's a sunburst style nib and it's a two-tone where the inside here actually just says relief. This one is a relief broad osmiridium. That's cool. Um, there's no number, nothing. But, um, and it was cute because Brian was like, oh, look what I have in here. <laughs> it's like Christmas every day at Anderson Land. So, open up the pen chest. You never know what you're going to find. I Actually, I didn't even open the other ones up. I should see what's in there. Here's the Morocco red. And Anything cool? I can't it's read it with my contacts in. It's like treasure. <laughs> it's treasure. <laughs> well, that's cool. Yeah. So, anyway, that's uh, a little bit, a uh, little V-clip action for you. 
Um, this week also uh, exciting news for us. Um, oh yeah! On Friday, Carpenter Joe stopped by. We love Carpenter uh, Joe. And our pen room is is nearing the final stage of completion. I think he's hoping it's nearing the final stages. You know, we he's been he's been such an asset. He helped us um, renovate the house, and I mean, I don't. It's, the it, it truly the is and... the house that Joe built. Yeah. Um, but uh, we wanted bookcases, so he built us four huge bookcases, and then we needed six more, and he got those done. Whew! And then we said, "Well, we need a table." <laughs> so he's building us a table. So hopefully that will be next week sometime. It shouldn't be too difficult, um, but we need something very specific, um, specific size. It, we've been we've been looking around at uh, online and some of the local places, and it's really hard to find something that's just the right size and the right height and we don't need it to have chairs and all that stuff so um, but uh, once that's done then uh, that part is uh, finished and then we just have some furnishing to do um, a couple of uh, pelican ads are going up or pelican posters uh, yep, we're gonna put awesome. up a uh, yesterday we just got a world map uh, yes. so we're gonna put a little world map up and then every time uh, somebody from another country uh, orders something we'll put a little pin in the in the map or another state or another state or any, any state yeah anywhere in the world um it's a good way to brush up on geography i think <laughs> <laughs> i don't know where some of these places are uh we'll put up probably later today uh well we have a nice uh, pilot display and uh, we thought it would look yep. really cool to put uh, our all right we have a pretty much a complete collection of the old style faceted vanishing points um so we're going to put those up uh for display i thought that'd be kind of fun and yep. uh, maybe some uh, semester book displays. Oh, that would be nice. Brian has some really, really nice vintage SD display cases. Um, I think one lights up. Yes, it does light up. Uh, I have to fix it, but yeah, it does light up. All right. Well, we won't plug it in, but no. uh, you've, you've got some really cool stuff. And you certainly could use the room if we get it out of your office and put them on... Uh, on top of the, the four bookcases, there is a 13 and a half foot countertop that we kept. I think it's the only thing we yep. saved when we demoed the basement. I mean, yep. literally everything went, um, except this beautiful piece. It's a solid single piece of wood. So it kind of sits as a countertop on top of the, the four bookcases. Um, so we'll put a bunch of your cases down there. We'll stand some stuff up, display it. It'll be all gorgeous. Yep. So we're excited. Um, it's really, really nice to have the additional bookcases, room to spread out the inventory, um, keep it all categorized and organized, which makes me happy. I like things organized. Uh, it's also easier when Brian takes inventory or we're trying to order. Um, and of course for pulling orders to ship. Uh, and we also have, we set aside one bookcase for our, uh, large collection of our pennants, pen worlds, yeah. and even pen fancier and, and other magazines, um, the old stylus and the old stylophiles and things like that. Yeah, we've got boxes and boxes yeah. of that, that, that stuff lying around. It'd be nice to have it finally. You could sit down and uh, some of those pen fancier magazines are really, really cool. So, yep. um, And uh, our ever-growing co collection of, of pen books. We seem to acquire you know, like one every other pen show. Yep. So. Uh, I'll probably move some of those down there, but not not all. I'd like to have a couple up here, but why? Well, you know, you never know. <laughs> never know what? Never know when you might want it. You're gonna cuddle up with a book up there? Well, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> um, anyway, we have lots of room. Yeah, so uh, that's that's coming along quite nicely, um, and uh, so we're pleased that finally we have those in. Uh, and last night, um, <laughs> in in celebration, I guess. No, we, uh, we had a meeting and we got carried away. That's what it was. <laughs> we carried away. Wow. Um, we uh, we did a little Christmas shopping for ourselves, from ourselves. Um, so we decided to grab a couple pens, uh, really kind of as tester pens for the table. You know, so when you when you guys come up to the table at a show, we've got you know, interested in a pen. We can we can give you one and uh, and show you how it writes. Uh, Here's but, a preppy. Yeah. <laughs> Try it. Yeah. Uh, that sells more pens, by the way, by having that thing. Um, 
We each got a new uh, Tasha Legato, I think is what that one is. The staccato is the big one. Yes. The black one. Uh, we each got a new Legato. I um, love mine. Noodlers Conrad's for both of us. Uh, and uh, new this week, we'll talk about it in a minute, uh, the Twisby Precision Pencil. Oh, those are cool. These are cool. Really, really cool. I got the black one. It's stealthy. Um, <laughs> Uh, let's see what else do we get. Uh, I got a, uh, a new pilot Prera. He didn't like mine. Uh, you know, she ha- she had the fine nib, which is really um, an extra fine. Really, kind of an extra fine. And uh, I like I like a little bit more meat on my nib. Um, and uh, let's see what else. I got a, a one of the last remaining clear Twisby five forties with the the Monster one point five stub. Uh, and what else did I get? I think that's it. Yeah, well, this, we can use that as a snow shovel. This is my my Tasha. Look at that. Oh, we're gonna do show and tell now. That, that Let's see, blue, there's mine. Blue swirl. Lisa got the uh, the burgundy. I coral. got the burgundy coral. It's really pretty. It looks a lot like uh, those those old. Um, uh, what well, Parker used that that uh, plastic. Um, it's pretty. Dual folds, English dual folds, maybe not English. Uh, but uh, I've seen them on Parker Parker pens before. Um, what else did I get? This is my this is my Conrad. Which one did you get? Oh, uh, you got the Florida. This is the, the yeah the Florida. Yeah. I had the Red Mesa. Um, I actually pulled the Red Mesa a while ago. There's oh. the Red Mesa. It's hard to see the the marbling with the light. Um, I pulled it a couple weeks ago, wanting to uh, to try it, but with the craziness of the last couple weeks. Um, finishing up the semester, Garrett's car in the shop and playing chauffeur and all of that. I just hadn't gotten around to inking it up. So I, I used it last night for a meeting and I was really very impressed. I mean, for a you know $20 pen, it's a great little writer. Yeah, I um, I, I must admit uh, we hadn't, hadn't tried one up until yesterday, I think it was. And uh, uh, they actually wrote. Uh, which was good because I, I had a kind of a bad experience with the Ahab at first. And uh, actually last week I, I inked up another one because people buy these things. So I have to know. And uh, the the second Ahab that I tried actually was, was pretty decent. And the Conrad I think is even better. Conrad writes great. Uh, yeah, it writes good. Uh, yours has excellent, uh, yours excellent flow, especially yes. when, when flexing. Uh, my, mine seems to be so uh, th- the same so far, uh, but I mean, I just inked it up maybe an hour yeah. ago. But uh, um, you know, no problems with with uh, ink flow uh, when railroading, and uh, no, pretty decent pen. It looks it's a nice looker. I like the size. For me, mm-hmm. I have small hands. the uh, The Conrad is definitely a much better size than the uh, the Ahab, at least for my hand. Um, and sadly though, the, the flexi part of the nib is, is wasted on me, but Brian had fun showing me what it does. So, so no, I, I think I might be, I might be turning around, uh, mm. towards the, the Mueller's pens. Oh, that means that, uh, there are like what, 60 or 70, 25, no. probably about 50 or 60 different, um, noodlers pens that no. could see me no, no. through several no, no. birthdays, no, no. anniversaries, no. Christmas. Nope, nope. Uh, there, there are going to be three yeah. ebonite. Conrads. I know. See, there you go. Well, you don't like ebonite, and you no. Like, so those would be yours. Those will be mine. You can have the others. Uh, I'll get an Aurora. <laughs> yeah, we're both getting <laughs> an Aurora. Fair. We'll keep that. Keep that one under under there our hat go. there for a little bit. There you go. Uh, so yeah, so we we did a little. Uh, it was kind of fun because we just kept talking and, and the pens just kept coming off the shelf. And we we were talking about okay, what do we need to order and and you know what uh, just just kind of a, a recap of of the last couple weeks. Oh, and we you, just you pulled another one off. I did. I was about to. to I'm sorry. Spring that I didn't on mean to interrupt, but I just that. I just remembered. Yeah, because I didn't get one. I know. What well, you have others. It's my sad face. I pulled a uh, <laughs> Schaefer Prelude. In yep. one of the funky, uh, one of the what I think are the the funkier colors. This electric is the blue, I think. Electric blue. Yeah. But it's it's interesting. Uh, there are four different colors, and when where it shows, the way the light shines on the pen, and we're standing behind the table. Um, I think it's the pink looks brown, or the yes. green looks brown. Yeah. They're kind of iridescent. They're really 
great writer, but really cool colors. Yeah, that one's uh, that one I like, and I like the purple too. is pretty cool. I like the green. It's kind of a, a cool. Yeah, it's it's funky. It's yeah. it's not my cup of tea, but we sell a lot of the pink ones. Yeah, yeah. So so anyway. Um, that was our shopping. That was our shopping last night, and uh, it does not. We're still getting more pens for Christmas. I think we are. I think so. Ooh. I think I'm. Getting, I, I think we are. I yeah. think I'm getting two. Maybe, maybe three. Um, wow. Okay. Uh, and in other news this week, um, uh, we can now be found under the Amazon Kindle subscriptions. That's on cool. the Amazon website. Uh, you can search for uh, Anderson Penn's blog under the Kindle store. Uh, so if you have a Kindle, uh, you can follow us. Uh, you can download the content directly to your device um, and take it with you. Uh, we do, you know, uh, right now we're, you know, a couple of blog posts a week. Uh, we do plan on in 2013 up on that a little bit. So yep. um, uh, I think there is a 14 day uh, trial period. So uh, if anybody uh, who has a Kindle wants to try that out and uh, just tell us, tell us how it looks, how it works, um, they would certainly appreciate the feedback. Absolutely. So, um, yeah, just search for I'd give you the web address, but it's like 3,000 characters long. Uh, just search for Anderson Penn's uh, blog under the Kindle store and you'll find us there. So, And also this week, uh, I guess uh, I'm, I'm a slow learner, uh, discovered Reddit. So... Uh, you can uh, find us on uh, on Reddit from time to time. Uh, so if you're familiar with the the Fountain Pens subreddit, uh, I'll be there once in a while, uh, pop my head and see what's going on. So that's cool. And let's see, uh, Christmas is around the corner. It occurred to me that it's December already. It's kind of scary. Twenty three um, days put- to Christmas. What? Twenty three days to Christmas. Oh, thank you. That doesn't help. You're welcome. <laughs> I got presents service. for you taken care of. I'm good. Yours is in Chicago, by the way. What? Yours is in Chicago. Uh, so is yours. Well, it Maybe was, they'll be was delivered together. T- two days ago. Oh. So you can't sure. go to the post office because if it shows up. <laughs> did you have yours sent to the P.O. box? No, I have it sent here. Oh, okay. Well, then we're safe. We're good. Anyway, we have a little four-foot <laughs> tree down in the pen room. And uh, since we're kind of dorky. We uh, decorated the little tree kind with some... Kind of dorky? <laughs> well, come on. It's kind of nerdy. I mean, How many people decorate I mean, a Christmas tree with little tiny mechanical pencils? After you get married at a pen show? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on. Yeah, I guess anything after that's uphill, right? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry. Anyway, Keep going. <laughs> we, um, we took these little mechanical pencils that were on jump rings. They actually work, by the way. Um, hung those on little ornament hangers. And then we tried really, really hard to um, yes, epic fail. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. To uh, to make some really cute ornaments out of old dip pen nibs, but they kept cracking. Then I don't know why. You know, I don't even think alcohol was involved, which no, is really it was not. <laughs> kind of sad. <laughs> um, we decided to um, work next on a Parker Vector. Uh, <laughs> And the patient died on the table. Uh, A hammer was involved. (laughs) Uh, We did manage to save the clip, which we put on an ornament hanger. And um, it's interesting. It's cute. I like it. You like the vector, the clip. I like the clip part. Okay. What about the rest of it? I think we should send it to Mike as a Christmas present. Send it to Mike. Plastic. He kind of yelled at us for the, the 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 rest of the pen, the barrel, the one that I drilled a hole through the the barrel. Yeah, and of. then we drilled a hole through the uh, the bottom metal piece of the barrel, so we have the pen hanging up as well. The, the cap, pen and the nib unit, the, not the, the cap. The cap, cap didn't live, and that's in um, pieces. Yeah. I, I took my frustration out on a a Schaefer school pen as well, and that. Yeah, so. I, that's more than people need to know about us. Probably in the evenings. Yeah. Um, what else? Uh, presents. I've been shopping. Love to shop. Uh, I managed to score a couple of gifts for Brian from <laughs> Levenger. Uh, I don't do Black Friday shopping at all. But when things come up online, occasionally. So I nabbed a really cool lap desk for Brian's laptop um, or for my iPad, if I can steal the uh, desk away from him. And a little something for myself. But the best part of it 
was I got a $100 gift card free with purchase. <laughs> so I then scored another present for Brian that arrives on Tuesday. Well, now you got to understand from my my perspective. I get this text in the middle of the afternoon that just <laughs> simply says, "What would you do if you had a $100 Levenger gift card?" Now, the first thing I'm thinking is, in order to get a $100 gift card from somewhere, you got to spend like 3-400 bucks. Nope. <laughs> Think about, what did you buy? Nothing. Table, chairs, what do you, I mean, holy smokes. Um, so she says, well, what would you buy if you had a $100 gift card? Yeah. I'm like, well, I don't know. So uh, I was a little worried, but as it turned out, uh, in, in true form, Lisa I got an even deal. better deal than I could have imagined. So, yeah. um, But we'll, we'll, we'll save the suspense. Uh, it might be pen related. Uh, maybe. I'm going to make you wait until Christmas for that one. I just wasn't sure you'd actually like the lab desk. Uh, no, it's great. It's really great. I like it a lot. It's so, bamboo, which matches the flooring in the pen room. Yep. Uh, it's got the the venting for the laptop. It's got spots it's got, for uh, two pens on each side, which is cool. Yep. You can stick them up in a little and a slot. slot in the back for a notebook. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you're not getting that back. You can wrap it up if you want, but I'm going to use it in the meantime. Uh, I'm done with school this week, oh. so I'll be home. Me and your lap desk. Da, 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 da. All right. So, uh, uh, moving right along. Um, sorry. <laughs> How about that poll question? Um, Since we just segued into that. So really we well. segued really well into uh, the poll question from last week. In the holiday spirit, do you give pens as gifts? I thought uh, it was kind of sad, the responses. Yeah, I think people were busy. Uh, I don't know if I promoted it much, but. Um, I meant the actual. Top answers. Oh, sad. The top answer. Yeah, the top answers. Very sad. Sad. Yeah. Um, the top answer at fifty six percent. No, people don't appreciate pens like I do. So fifty percent, fifty six percent of people who voted don't give pens as gifts. So obviously, I'm not on their Christmas list. No. Uh, second top answer. Um, although you know, this is the flip side of it, thirty seven percent said absolutely. I try to convert people to fountain pens whenever I can. Yep. So, awesome. Um, third uh, third highest, any kind of pen, absolutely, uh, 7%. And um, 0% <laughs> um, answered with yes, rollerball or ballpoint only. So, um, of course, I'm in the absolutely 37% category. Yeah, but who do you give pens to as gifts you me that's it actually we gave uh, we sent a, a big box of pens to my cousin that's right mm -hmm. uh, for her daughter so we'll uh, see how that goes I'm sure Sandy will let me know uh, what Allie thinks yep cool so that's kind of fun um let's uh you want to talk about some modern more modern stuff Ooh, let's go I love on the website. modern stuff um, this week, uh, we're going to have soon, we just got in some, uh, new journals from Exacompta. Yes. Uh, some of these are really, really pretty nice. Uh, uh, leatherette and, uh, there's even a leather covered journal, uh, and they come with, uh, it's kind of cool refillable insert. I saw you checking some of those out. I'm going to count. I kind of like that dark blue one. The blue one is really nice. pretty. You might need to snag that before we I'm sell it. Out. That might be a. Good thing to put repairs in, maybe. I don't know. Oh, okay. I don't know. Stocking meeting, stuffer? Meeting notes. I don't okay. know. We'll see. Uh, really, really pretty colors. Uh, nice paper. I was going to snag one for myself, but it seems like Brian may beat me to it. I like mm, the blue as well. We'll see. Uh, and then we got uh, some more Habana journals in. Uh, those sell really well, and Including so we've restocked on those. One in like an electric green. <laughs> hey, that's a cool color. You wow. watch. That's going to sell. Somebody buy that just to prove me right. I, I think I think whoever buys that is probably going to come up to the table and have the same color of like boots or something. Oh. <laughs> hey, they can get shoe. that Schaefer Prelude. Yeah. Oh, it would match. It would actually match the that Schaefer would be cool. Prelude. It's like a lime green. or what, What's the color on that? I don't remember. But it's it's there's no mistake in that's green. your journal cool. if that's yours yeah, yep. um, and uh, like we've already mentioned, uh, the Twisby Precision mechanical pencils uh, are now in. 
these are really fantastic. If you do any work um, with a pencil, a uh, drafting pencil, they have a nice, uh, uh, nice section. If you if you grip farther down, yep. Um, they come in two sizes, uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.7, matte silver, matte black, and two options for mechanisms, uh, a retractable mechanism, which this one has here. You, you probably can't even see it. Um, or a fixed pipe style. Like uh, mine. Yeah. This is the fixed. Mine has the, the retractable. So the little, the little bit just retracts back in. Um, I'm really impressed. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, I'm not really a pencil type of guy, but this... Uh, these, uh, they're nice, heavy pencils. Uh, they're, you know, they're, what are they, six-sided? I think they are. Uh, come with a nice, a nice clip. Uh, and uh, they, they resemble the old Rotring 600s. Yeah. Uh, but they're, they're, they're thinner than that, of course. Um, and they have a, you got to check this eraser out. Um, Where is the eraser? I haven't even played with that yet. The eraser comes in a little, little That's sleeve huge. here. It's an inch and a half long. Oh, I just dropped something. <laughs> outtake um, I dropped my lead and uh, and is it, it if that isn't enough I'm going to show you the box here they give you oh, not did you bring yours up I have the box yeah um, man you are equipped when you buy I'm this equipped, thing yeah you have right here on the bottom they give you a tube that has three more inch and a half sticks of eraser and then you get a nice little container of uh, there's a dozen sticks of lead that come with it so yeah, you um, are set. Yeah, you know, and the They've price done. the price is just silly, I think. Yeah. I mean, twenty five bucks? Yeah, twenty five bucks for a nice, nice mechanical pencil. It's it's beautiful. It's it's really a nice weight. Uh it's a nice size. The clip is good. I mean, Twisby sometimes is slow to produce things or reproduce things, but man, this is a hit just out of the park. Yeah, I, I don't remember the last time I was excited over a pencil, but when when we found out we could get these, I'm like, I gotta have one. That's really yep. cool. Um, yep. We ordered some for the website and uh, one for each of us. Yep. So, so. they're cool. Uh, we also got uh, speaking of Twisby, the minis are back in stock. So uh, the minis are back. The minis are back. The little classic guys and uh, all the other colors, or well, the clear and the the solid black, uh, stocked up. Um, and uh, the last batch of the uh, 540 piston fillers that we could get our hands on. Yep. Um, this is it. The 540s, as some of you know, is being discontinued. Oh, no. um, so from now on, uh, until they're all gone and we have a, a very small, small amount left, um, all the colored 540s, so that's the sapphire, the amber, and the smoke only, not the clear. Not the clear. Uh, that we're going to mark them down. They're going to be 40 bucks. So uh, get them while they last. Yep. And grab an extra nib unit too if you think you might want one. Yeah. So um, I, I must confess that was one of the other things we did when we were um, shopping last night. Um, we did pull a couple of extra 540s for ourselves. Mine's I have two over there. Um, especially with discontinued pens, I love. I really try to get one of each of them. Um, I've waited before to buy discontinued, discontinued stuff. And then when you're ready to purchase it, you can't find them to save your life. Or they cost way more than they originally did. Um, we took a long time uh, and some frustration to uh, finish our collection of um, the old style faceted vanishing points. Um, <laughs> you're like a kid at Christmas. Um, and uh, I'm still trying to get all of the Levenger Newton pens in the different colors. So we were determined that uh, we weren't going to make this mistake again because there's no guarantee we're going to be able to find them again. Yep. So, so. Uh, so grab them while you can. Yep. Let's see what else on the, uh, the website. A new blog post, uh, hopefully this afternoon, on gift giving. Uh, no, not a tale of what I'm getting Brian oh, for come Christmas. On. Sorry, honey. Come on. It's only three You're weeks away. 23 days. Give it time. Uh, but some ideas for pen collectors in your life. Um, stuff that isn't a pen and that won't cost an arm and a leg. So it is possible. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see what I surprise you with. Cool. Can't wait to read it. I know. I can't um, wait to write it. <laughs> Uh, some new paper designs, uh, hopefully uh, up on the website this weekend too. Lisa's got some uh, some really great new note cards for, designed for the ladies. 
Uh, they, they're selling really well at the show. So um, to realize the other day, we don't have them on the website. Uh, we run it every time of them, no matter how many we bring. So uh, check it out on the side. Cite some uh, some awesome shoes and purse options and a couple other designs, uh, cute designs. Um, so guys, these would be great for your wives or your significant other. They get a note card of shoes really cool high heels and then you can get a pen because she'll be so happy yeah win -win. yeah yeah just buy a pen buy a note card look honey i bought Pack a pen and i got these for you does that work i don't does it work i don't know i just buy stuff for you <laughs> it's fun stuff <laughs> um and uh speaking of giving pens Ooh. uh let's uh let's talk about uh, our winter giveaway Yes, that's coming up soon, right? It's coming up soon. Yeah, a couple, uh, two weeks. Awesome. Uh, and, and I have to show this. We got this uh, this week. Um, this is from Donnie, uh, and I'm pretty sure this is uh, watercolor. Is that what that is, honey? Yep, it's watercolor. A uh, nice. It's beautiful. Nice, beautiful winter scene. I, I think that we're gonna frame it. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna put this up in the pen room. Yep. That's really, really, Absolutely. really a nice, nice job. Uh, thank you very much. Um, oh, and wait, while we're doing, you know, like little mini shout out, we need to say hi to Hugh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because apparently he listens while he's working out or driving? Uh, driving. Okay. So right. if we keep rambling on long enough, he may actually get to work by the time we're done. <laughs> uh, no, he's got a, a quite a long drive and he listens to us too. So. Is he the one with the two and a half hour commute? I believe so. Yes. That's crazy. <laughs> Well, get a we just, chauffeur so you can like write in your journal and use your pens on the way. We got to keep pumping out the podcast for him then. There you go. So, all right. So, what's the winner going to get? Uh, well, uh, actually, uh, from now until December fifteenth, uh, we're going to accept entries for the holiday giveaway, and we're going to draw on Sunday, December sixteenth. Two weeks. Two weeks. You got two weeks left. So, if uh, uh, if you're outside the U.S., you better get them in. Send them in tomorrow. Yep. Get it here on time. And we really have enjoyed um, reading them. Yep. Good <laughs> stuff. Good stuff. Really cute stuff. Uh, we will be giving away a Twisby Vac 700, winner's choice of sapphire, amber, or smoke, and uh, whatever nib you want, yep. uh, a bottle of Schaefer Green Ink, and a bottle of Pelican 4000 Red Ink. It's about a hundred dollar value, and please send in please send in a winter holiday themed submission. Uh, one entry per person. Send your entry to Anderson Penn's Holiday Giveaway, P.O. Box 732, Appleton, Wisconsin, 54912. Awesome. So, uh, and you know, the odds are pretty good. Uh, so let's get, get some more entries in here. So, yep. Wonderful. Uh, anything else you want to talk about this week? We got a couple surprises maybe next week, but a uh, couple surprises, things big, that are going to be uh, big surprises next week. Coming in, we'll save that. Yeah, Build so the suspense. Um, stay tuned and um, comments, suggestions for topics. Use your pens. Write to us, Anderson Pens, PO Box seven three two, Appleton, Wisconsin five four nine one two, or catch us online. Uh, email Brian at AndersonPens.net or Lisa at AndersonPens.net. You can follow us on Twitter, twitter.com slash AndersonPens. We are on Facebook, of course, facebook.com slash AndersonPens. Follow us on our blog, andersonpens.net slash blog. And our website, andersonpens.net. Join our mailing list for advance notice of upcoming events or pre-orders. Thanks for listening to our podcast. See you next week.